So we're at the beautiful Beauty Point. This is mobilisation week, so we're spending five days moving two truckloads of gear from Hobart and positioning it on the ship. On the deck level, we'll have a lot of deck operations that will consist of ROV, towed camera and coring operations and we'll be conducting those in daylight hours. In total, we'll be looking at 12 CSIRO staff aboard the ship working 24 hours. Behind us, you'll see an orange container uh, that was also loaded with a mobile crane and offers uh, underway carbon monitoring and will be manned on 24 hours for a five day period in the survey. So I've been building the um, ocean certification moorings um, and also smaller instruments that goes on landers, so sea foxes they're called. So the instrument behind us uh, is actually, it's a combined system, so it actually acquires two different types of data. Basically we tow it behind the vessel uh, and one type of data is a side scan image or a side scan sonar image. That is basically an image of the seafloor, so a bit like you would see a normal image, except in this scenario we're actually using sound to generate that picture of the, of the seafloor. Um, the second type of data is uh, sub-bottom profiler data. So the sub-bottom profiler actually sends out a beam of sound as well. It kind of gives an image from the seafloor down. So the CCS project is using a range of acoustics technologies to monitor the marine environment and understand what's going on prior to the, uh, to the actual sequestration process starting. We're working with uh, acoustic systems on, on vessels uh, during dedicated surveys. We're working with acoustic systems on unmanned science vehicles, so the sail drone system. We also have uh, moored systems, which I'm standing next to now, that will house acoustics that can do long-term monitoring over sort of periods of six months, taking recordings a couple of times a day for a period of time to get long-term trends in the ecosystem. We're covering a really big range of uh, new acoustic technologies and uh, in the last few years there's been an explosion of new, de new devices coming out that can make more detailed measure, they can run at lower power. Rather than just conventional vessel mounted sounders which is the bread and butter of acoustics, we now have systems that can go onto moored, uh, into a moored situation and record over uh, months, up to six months at a time. We also have systems going on um, unmanned science vehicles. Those vehicles can stay up for six months at a time. Uh, recording acoustic data. So there's all these absolutely wonderful new opportunities that are opening, that will, opening up to us that will give us some really detailed insights uh, of, of that marine environment. <laughs> <laughs>